Hello you lovely people, it's your wonderful Grim Reaper Tech bringing you guys some more Resident Evil 3. And um, as we left off, we already know, we basically left off where Jill is sick. As you guys can see on the table. Yeah, she, I mean not table, the bed, she is sick now. And we gotta go and save her. We gotta go and get the antidote, my guys, so we can make sure that... The lovely Jill still lives. But yeah, that's where we last left off. We basically beat Nemesis twice. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. No. Gotta be the lab in the back. Stay frosty, I'm on my way. Be Come. here fast, my dude. I'll go on ahead. Godspeed. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Remember what you guys gotta do in the com I mean not in the comments, but um in like both buttons down below the like and subscribe remember to stab both of them real good just stop shit. stabby time you know it's always stabby time every time for around me guys remember that but yeah so we'll continue off where we left off let's see nothing in here huh but jesus christ okay I feel so bad for my girl Jill. Why does bad things need to happen to good people? Hey, and our health. Really? Well, can I open that? I'm in a hospital and there's already blood! Ah, oh, guy, I forgot about you. Yeah, that's on me. Get off me, please. Screw it. We're just. That's so stupid of me. Can we all just make like a little petition for me to never like be stupid in these games ever again? I'm always so greedy in these Resident Evil games. That's so bad of me. Hey, what's this? But that I can use until I get a key or something, so, uh. There's something outside. I am low on pistol ammo. I might be screwed here. Yo! Welcome to the office of Dr. Nathaniel Barnes. Please state your business. Click Yo, cassette tape? Let's go. Like, what do we got? What kind of tunes? Well, not tunes, but what kind of sounds we got? Can I not start it? Can I not start or press the play button? There for cassette tapes, you'll have to put a tape in. Oh. Oh, I need. Okay, the. Wait, so there's like no tape in it, but there's. 
Okay, whatever. Nice journal, September 25th. Every day they bring in more of these mysterious ill- a mystery illness patients. The sedatives don't stop their delirium, so we have to put them in straight jackets and move- Move them to an isolation wing. Problem is, the isolation wing is already bursting at the seams. That was my phone. Don't worry. Uh, it's um, the director. I don't know if you guys heard it, but my phone went off, so that's why I turned my head. I mean, that's why I like stopped for a second. Or that's to admit anyone with symptoms free of charge. But what does he expect us to do? Wish them better? We don't have a cure. And that's not all. That's boring me. I mean, that's bothering me. When these patients die, they, they're they not collected by the usual I mean, mortary teams. We've been told it's special handling to prevent the illness from spreading. But I'm not sure. I buy it. Miranda saw some guys wheeling a body through the forbidden door. During the night, why? Where? What is going on? Dang, that nurse must be terrified. To be honest, I'll be terrified too if I had to witness all this kind of stuff. <laughs> I'm guessing this is the forbidden door. Dr. Bard, are you in there? I'm here to rescue you. Open the door. No voice match found. Voice match? What kind of sci-fi bullshit is this? I agree. Oh, so that's what the cassette tape is for. That makes wait that uh, that makes way more sense to me now. Oh my god, we're getting heals like crazy. I wish I could just give them to Jill. What the fuck is this? Okay. Destroyed. Was I not mashing? I was mashing. Uh, just stay dead. As you guys can see, we are back. It's <laughs> God, I hate these zombies. Wait, did another one move? Or is it just that guy? I think it's just that guy. Alright, so where am I now? That was a creepy owl. Seems like I'm on the other side. Okay. I do not know where. Teddy bear! You're adorable. I'm guessing that was because of the body, because I don't remember that being there. But. We'll ignore it! We'll, we'll just ignore it. <laughs> Don't tell me you're lost.
Please stay dead. I'm just tired of your crap. Like, I'm done with these out uh, with these eggs. Um, which way do I go from here? I guess I'll just go straight ahead. go that way I guess I feel a little scared now so dark and quiet the atmosphere is just dread I feel like I want to punch someone in the face by the way I wonder how are you guys doing how's your week been <laughs> mine's has been um, pretty dreary I've just been at home if you guys are wondering why I've just been staying at home, is because I've been, uh... Oh, okay, here we go. I, uh... I basically... Well, I've been able... Hold up, Nurse Journal, September 27th. Admit 20 mysterious illnesses. Patients... Pa oh, <laughs> just patients at the end. Patients in the isolation wing exhibiting severe limb... And necrosis, fever, muttering, delirium, and signs a hyper I mean, a hyper um, pagia. Yeah. My wording is really bad, huh? <laughs> Possible infection, tried every anesthetic. Still, no blood work. Back from the research wing. Ask again. Dr. Young was in while treating one of the patients. We've disinfected the wound, but his fever won't go down. Nothing works. Meanwhile, the Outpatient wing is completely anarchy. The patients are delirious and growing more violent by the minute. We've called in our off duty staff. It's all hands on deck now. We've got to contain this chaos. All right. There's something else in here. Yes! Thank you. We'll just put this in here. Store. I feel like we should store this also. For now, that'll be it. I'm happy that we found this room. But yeah, let me finish. Like, I have been able to go out, but not like crazy. Um, Even though it's like my birth week, it's been really... I mean, even though like... My birth week started like last week, and it, I'm also treating it this week a bit more. I wanted to treat it this week a bit, but nah. But um, yeah, basically my car is acting crazy, so I'm pretty much dealing with that. But it's no problem. I'm not like completely angry. It's just like, it's just a natural thing in all honesty. That's a lot of blood. I love it. What could be in here? Some more Zeds? Oh, wait, these zombies got wrecked. Wait, these staff got wrecked. We tried. I swear to God we did, but there's nothing else to be done. The chaos is completely beyond control. Victims are pouring in now, dying and spraying the infection faster than we can reach them. So we've given up trying those of us who aren't infected, having barricaded ourselves in here. We can hear the seas for help outside, the screaming, but none of us will go out there because it would be the end of us. I can't believe we've abandoned our patients. It's the worst sin imaginable for a nurse. I can't stop shaking. But I want to live. I want to live. 9 p.m. We heard a helicopter flying overhead and immediately started crying and hugging each other, thinking a rescue team was on the way. But then the sound grew distant and all we were left with now is moaning of the dead and the silent screams in our hearts. 
we're all about to lose our minds. Dr. Young, Arena, Miranda, Dakota, I'm so sorry. I failed you. Something's coming. Help me. Yikes. Oh. Yo, that key would be nice to have right about now, you know? <laughs> I would like to have it. Just so I won't. ID cards are not taking off the hospital grounds, I understand. So I need a I need the ID card and the key to the locker room has gone missing. The last person to have had it have dropped it somewhere in the courtyard. No. Could be worse. So, I gotta head to the courtyard now. Dude, this is a bloodbath. We do gotta head in there, but I wanna grab the ID card real quick. It was somewhere around here that I can jump off to the courtyard. Here we go. I'm guessing I jumped off the wrong platform. Please tell me I did not. Oh, never mind. Guess there is no wrong and wrong answers to that. Nice. Yes! Locker key, let's go. Frick! Oh, that was smart. I'm not gonna lie, that was smart to go back for that key. This place is starting to get to me a bit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, the noises are not helping. I feel like I'm hearing the voices in my head right now. Alright, so what could we do here? Because I see that that's the room I gotta head to, but I wanna, like, explore a bit, you know? Thanks? I didn't even realize that was the... I didn't realize I didn't pick that up, actually! That's on me. I'm so stupid. Wait. I was about to say, wasn't there a body there, but wait a minute, never mind. Really? Oh, wait, only Jill can unlock these because it's a lockpick. Frick. I'm in a locker room now. What does one do in this situation besides loot? Ooh, fedora. Ooh, grenade. I mean, not a grenade, but like something. <gasps> Frick me. Jesus Christ.
Jesus Christ. That definitely got me. Well played, Resident Evil creators. Well played. Adorable. Um, I shoulder bash. I shoulder bash. I hate that they do that. I hate that the creators do that. I hate that they do that. There, they added a system where if you're playing on a strong difficulty, they basically are like, yeah, you want a baby? Uh, you want to double back a bit? We noticed that you've been dying. <laughs> no, I don't want a baby. I'm playing like a man. Stop trying to baby me. <laughs> I'm dying a lot more as Carlos than as Jill. I just noticed that. I have not died once as Jill, have I? I don't remember. Alright, let's do this again. That's so stupid. Man. So they obviously kept the instant. Oh, shit. Frick, frick off. How are you alive? I don't like that he doesn't have a dodge, but then I've been rarely using the dodge since I start this game, so I can't say Jack, can I? I've only used the dodge because of Nemesis. That was it. I never even used it that well to begin with. I'm not gonna lie, this game is kind of like good, but at the same time, it's kind of lame when there's no Nemesis around. Like, it feels like it is a bit easier without him. I almost forgot. Nope, never mind. I thought there was something in here, but there I forgot that's the other room I'm thinking about. Wait, I got the ID card now, don't I? Which means I could either he keep going in, go into the nurse's office. Could do that, yeah. Dang it. I tore him to shreds. That is amazing. Why doesn't it work? 
I got the audio cassette. Let's go. <laughs> we got what we need. We can leave this freaking death room now. But before I do, let me see if there's any um, goodies in here. Oh my god, thank you. I am really low on ammo right now. Kind of sucks, actually. Because this gun's really not highly effective against these guys, but at the same time, it's the only best gun you can get, so... Well, for my boy Carlos. Oh, frick, I didn't see him. Jump out! <laughs> Hello. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Oh. <sighs> I wanted to swear so badly right there. This guy's just goofing, man. Right, I blew off that guy's head as soon as I got in. Wow. All that for one herb, huh? Wild, huh? <laughs> okay, we'll take that at least. Yeah. All that for two herbs, huh? Thank you! Oh my god, yes! <laughs> Oh! I was gonna lose my bleeding mind. The nurses' station. Safe combination is nine, nine clockwise, three counterclockwise. Thank you. Is that it? Just nine three? Wait, a gun? Where is it? Oh my freaking god, thank you. Well, we can discard this now. Uh, Jesus Christ, they gave me a lot of stuff. That's for just entering in this room, too. We. Woo, we! <laughs> like Mr. Beasties. Look at me. Like. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, yeah, I love Rick and Morty a lot. <laughs> like. Like, just every joke that they create in that show, it's just a beauty. And I know there are episodes that people dislike, but I like every episode in the show, so don't judge me for it, but just saying. I know there's one out there. I hate it that there is. Oh, 
Frick off! Oh god, oh so it gets harder whenever like you're lower on health, Jesus Christ, I didn't realize I was that low either, so that's on me, oh god, let's get out of here before I die. Okay, not this way. I'm not gonna lie, I saw that in the corner of my eye. Alright, let's get out of here quickly. I got what I needed. Got my double mags. The rest pretty much goes to Jill. So, uh, forget this. I didn't see anything. Alright. This. All I wanted to know was what the documents were doing in your office in the first place. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm goddamn Nathaniel Bard. I'm the best biologist you'll ever meet, you bed pen changing waste of a nursing degree. Of course I have connections higher up. Of course the military consults with me on projects beyond your comprehension. So stop wasting my time with your nosy questions. I... Uh, I'm sorry, Doctor. You didn't read the documents, did you? No, I shredded them just like you asked. Good. Good. If that's all, you can go back to wiping your patient's ass. That's what they pay you for, right? And polish my shoes. Yes, sir. I bet you know a lot about polishing, don't you? Now fuck off and don't say a word to anyone. Wow, that guy's a real charmer, huh? Wow. What a douche. Yeah, like, thank you for saying something. Oh, thank God, more ammo. Yo! There he is. What's up, good doctor? Bard. Tyrell. Bard's dead. He's been shot. Shit! And the vaccine? I'm looking. Well, look harder! There's gotta be a computer, right? That would be the case, but... Banquet Invitation Dear Dr. Bard, it is my pleasure to cordially invite you to a banquet on September 10th at the Central Host Hotel. We are... I almost said hospital, sorry. <laughs> we are, Where we will be exchanging viewpoints on Raccoon City's new special medical zone, SMZ. Attending will be... Major Michael Warren, a chief of police iron barn I am Barn Irons. I am Brian Irons. God dang it. I really don't care either way. Cause this guy both guys are total douchebags and are distinguished members of our community. Thursday, September 10th, 1998. Six o'clock PM, Dorian Restaurant and the Central Hotel second floor. We would be an honor if you joined us. Sincerely, Greg Tester, United States Senator. Handwritten note. Nate will be introducing the bill for that new drug of yours in the mid-August. Bring the cash. We've looked, we booked the suite for the usual after party. You're a, bar you're a baronet guy, right? I'll let Irons know. <laughs> they were praising this, Jack? And this piece of crap? Like, what the heck? Yeah, like, sure, I would praise the guy who treats women poorly. All women are queens, dude. Well, I wouldn't say all women. Like, there are some women out there that aren't queens. I know that's bad to say, but it's true. 
But then I can say the same with Gout guys. Not all guys are kings. <laughs> Alright, email from Nathaniel Brad. Let's see. Yeah, Nathaniel Brad. Okay, to Greg Tuster. Greg, I know you're watching the news. This virus is going to devour the whole country. The dead will wash over Capitol Hill from like a tidal wave. You're not safe. However, you've been a good friend to me, so I'll like to offer you a way out. I have a propos I have possession, one dose of a vaccine for the virus, the Holy Grail, and it's not my family, not my ladies on the side. No, Greg, I'm saving it for you. I know better than anyone that you're the future of the United States, but if you want the goods, Greg, you have, you got to get me the hell out of here now without Umbrella finding out. Lean on the Pentagon for me. I know you've got the clout. See it if someone can get a rescue team in here without UBCS involvement. You scratch my back, I scratch yours, which would sound pretty ch chaste after the parties we've been to. Hurry, my time is running out, Nate. This is VRC Chief Nathaniel Bard, September 29, 11 p.m. I am acutely aware that my time's running out. And I hope and pray by making this recording and bringing the truth to light that I can restore some small shred of honor to my name. All of Raccoon City's suffering began with the release of a biological weapon known as the T-Virus. My employer, the Umbrella Corporation, engineered this virus and they ordered my team to develop a vaccine, which we did. Now, I keep samples of this vaccine here in my office. The rest of it is stored underground. But those sons of bitches at the board, they want to destroy it. They don't want the world to know what they've done. So they're trying to erase all evidence that the virus ever existed. Now, I'm not a fool. I know they don't want me to... Shit, kept recording. Give me a clip out of that, dog. I got Julie all along. And she trusted me anyway. Fuck! Hey, man, calm down. The computer did nothing wrong. Apologize to that computer. We're not leaving until you apologize. So apologize. I got all day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> here? Just imagine that, that the game just becomes sentient and then it, it apologizes. Just like, I can't stand around all day. All right, Jill. Hang tight. We got the cure. Jill will be saved. T, I got it. Good. I'm headed your way. Be careful. Careful? <laughs> Have you seen this town? It'll be a fucking miracle if I get there in one piece. So... Bard's dead. There's only one vaccine and Jill's going to be getting it. Possibly there's probably going to be like another one somewhere. I don't know. There you are. I knew there was something in here. Rooms don't turn blue. I mean, blue. Rooms don't turn. If there's a god out there, why you do this to me? Nope, 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 nope. Oh my god. I forgot these guys run. You're gonna be okay, Joe. Oh! Yeah, you're gonna be A-OK. -okay. 
Here you go, my gal pal. Take some nice drugs. <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> You'll live another day. There's still people in the city. You think Uncle Sam gives a shit? Fuck. Here they come. Oh, you sit tight. I got this. He's bloodied up. I think he's also infected you. Better grab gear. Sounds like there's a lot of them out there. Well, the only gear I got is freaking heels for days and then pistol a small hand of assault rifle ammo. I think we're good. I'm gonna save in here real quick. I don't trust myself. I got irritated twice. I'm not willing to get irritated a second time. And what I mean by irritated, I mean I got murked twice. I'm gonna try to lower the window shutters. The less entry points, the better. And how do we do that? I'll try hacking into the hospital security system. Keep them off me in the meantime. Yes, sir! Not gonna lie, they should bring Carlos into more Resident Evil games. You know how cool it would be? Okay. Now the fun shit begins. I was completely tunnel visioning myself right there. I'm not gonna lie, the gunfires make me think of like, um, you know that Black Dynamite episode where, uh, oh frick! <laughs> I'm thinking way too much on Black Dynamite that I should not be <laughs> lowering my guard. <laughs> ah frick. Yeah, I deserve this. I was greedy. Like, you know that Black Dynamite episode where, like, um,
Back off. What am I supposed to do? Oh my god! They're everywhere! Help! I legit cannot do jack. They are, like, surrounding me like crazy. Now these guys are here. Um, bullet! Why are you not existing? I hate this. This feels like I'm playing mercenary mode, but I'm like a nerd. But I'm like a... Oh my god, this feels worse than mercenary mode. I'm not gonna lie. He ran me into the zombie! Like this psychopath! Are you bloody kidding me? Please tell me this is it! I want to end this! Wait, wouldn't that be able to, like, break down the entire building? Well, not the entire building, but, like, the, a good chunk of the building making us have to deal with more Zeds? But hey, we did it! First try! Let's go! Right. <laughs> not even close. But at least it's over. I'm glad it's over. I'm coming back. Us. I need a hero. <laughs> hero, the end of the night. Vaccines are real deal. Copyright sucks. Good. You going somewhere? You damn right. What do you think you're gonna do? Whole city's about to be microwaved. Come on, man. Call the government. Tell them we found a cure. You stall for time. Ballsy motherfucker. He ain't wrong, though. <laughs> he's not just ballsy, he's handsome. Don't forget that. Like, do you see that man's hairline? Like, come on. Give your man some respect. <laughs> <laughs> Guys who rock curly hairs like that is actually pretty cool to me. I love it.
too. Oh. Oh, thank God you're okay. I've got good news. It's over now. The city's safe. I was gonna say this to be a dream or something. <laughs> Seems about right. A dream. Let's go. Where am I? Carlos What's going not dying on today? Oh. Attention, all citizens. The missile strike on Raccoon City will occur in just hours. The payload is designed to eradicate all biological material. You will not survive if you remain in the city. October first. Evacuate now. Repeat. No. Evacuate now. Can't be. This is not a test. All right, the main girl is here, and she's back at action, baby. Let's go. Hey, a new gun! Wait a minute, a new gun! <laughs> Shoot. Uh, we'll put that in there, I guess. Oh, we need this, though. I don't know if the new gun's better than this one, though. That's the thing. Especially that I have way more added on to that. But then this is a burst model. Hold up. Let me take about it real quick. Let me look at it real quick. Let's see, burst model features quick. It's a lot of damage in a certain amount of time. Hold up. Can I, like, separate, like, the equipment on this gun? Remove part. Or let me try something like I want to see if this will work if it doesn't then that kind of sucks okay I guess I can't remove anything else combine it? no I can't combine with that oh dang then it only works with this one combine that's the thing. This gun gun knows for a compact size made from an extremely durable resin and it's used by the armed forces. Like it's just as good as that one. It's just the only difference is is like I get more room. Known for its compact size made from an extremely durable. Yeah, it's like the same thing, just the only difference is it's a burst. Well, a burst, it's a three round burst. I guess it won't be bad. It would give me a lot more room. And I actually like three round burst guns in all honesty. And the reason why I like that is cause like, when you play COD and you had to use three round burst guns, it does, it does come in like handy in all honesty. I will be honest. Um. I think that's it. Is there anything else in this room? Well, it looks a bit no, but we're saving here because I don't want to jump back. And I'm getting tired of doing that. I might die out there. Godspeed. Yo, anyone out here? Sunshine? You saved my life. I sure as shit didn't. That was all Carlos. He carried you here and he treated you himself, the crazy bastard. Where is he? In an underground. Bard stockpiled the vaccine enough to give the city some hope. He thinks he can do this by himself. I'm going after him. Wait, did you see the broadcast? They're gonna blow the city sky high. I'm trying to get a hold of someone, anyone with the clearance to stop it. Leave this mess to him. He's a professional. So am I. Right. Guess I'm not talking to you for this. The storage facility is underground, beneath this hospital. I've lost contact with Carlos, so expect trouble. 
Alright. I just realized something. I left a certain monster out there. I don't know where, but it's out there somewhere. As soon as I walk out this room and head in the room it's in. Um, trying to find some ammo. Or whatever is out here, actually. There's something out here, but I can't see- wait. Is it connected to this room? Because if it is, that's... Hmm. Yeah, it has to be connected to there, because it would pull some shenanigans like that, would it? Yeah, it was. Okay. Yeah, you love the gift that Carlos left behind for you? The stockpiles of bodies? I am so happy she can do that. using that one. In all honesty, I legit forgot that I got mine instead of like the normal stuff. <laughs> the explosion. No! <laughs> oh yeah, I just realized I didn't finish my like little Rick and Morty statement I was about to make. Uh, but yeah, I like Rick and Morty a lot. Like, it, like, let me know down in the comments below what's your favorite Rick and Morty episode. Like, if I had to say my favorite, Hmm, that's a tough choice actually, now that I think about it. <laughs> like, if I had to say my favorite, it would probably be the episode where, like, uh... Hmm... <laughs> hmm. I'm trying to think. Jeez, I can't think of all the episodes. It'll come to me when, in due time. Actually, wait, no. I think I just thought about it now. It's probably gonna have to be the episode where Rick, um, messes up the earth. Like, Morty trying to get a date at, like, his homecoming or prom or whatever. And next thing you know is, he asks Rick to make, like, a drug for his girl. And that next second, it's like, Rick just messes up the earth, just Cronenberging it. I appreciate episodes like that a lot. Oh, this bloody well sucks. Uh... Zombie designs are so magnificent. I might as well just leave it. There is nothing I could do to get it.
Hold up, never mind. I just thought about this now. I could just put the shotgun ammo in since I'm not going to be using it as heavily. Well, I'm about to use it now heavily, but... You guys get what I mean. When do you guys don't get what I mean is the real damn question. Because, like, I absolutely forgot there's a save room right next door. Literally, this is my neighbor. This is literally, like, my neighbor's house. It's just, it's right next door to you, Tech. <laughs> Should I put like the... Yeah, I should put these in here also. Don't want to use these right now since I'm not doing like a boss fight at the moment. I'm keeping the two health, so... They will come in use. In use indeed. <laughs> Wait, wasn't there like one of those things? Jesus freaking Christ, that scared me. I think I can squeeze by. You definitely can. Girl, you are lean. But for a lean woman, hmm, you are queen. That was one tall woman zombie. I'm not gonna lie. Oh yeah, by the way, if you guys are wondering how I dealt with this, um, all I'm gonna say is they shouldn't have messed with me. Like, I just threw two flash grenades when they were not stunned. Wait, hold up. Not doing that. Just realized. Let me drop off my stuff first. Then we'll do that. <laughs> then I'll jump out the window and commit suicide. <laughs> I'll do a flip also. <laughs> do a flip. Jesus Christ, we got a lot of ammo and stuff. We're good for days. Hold up. Just thought of something. Give me more of that shotgun ammo. <laughs> now I feel accomplished. Ultimate power. <laughs> Shadow the Hedge. <laughs> I feel like that's the one game I'm never touching on my channel, and that's the Shadow the Hedgehog game. <laughs> like, it's not because it. Well, obviously, it's because one, it's bad, but two, it's also that it will take way too long. <gasps> Bunny! <laughs> I just. Give me a second. My thought, my brain just operated in two different scenarios. I love how I'm just talking about Shadow and then there's Bunny. <laughs> my brain loves to operate in multiple in multiple ways, my friends. Don't worry. It's completely natural. Yes. Guaranteed beautiful. to give you a headache. Uh, heck yeah, it's guaranteed. <laughs> I'm wasting fools now. Kendo's army. Wait, where is it again? Yeah, I just walked right by it. I still gotta jump back down there either way, so... To be honest, I'm gonna be honest here. We could just skip all of this and, like, just left everything but I really want everything in this place because I don't know what this game could do to me next that will make me want to like 
rage, but it'll be something. I'm just waiting on it. Somewhere down here in the courtyard, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. No? Please tell me it is. I really don't want to be wrong on this. Or did I just leave it? Nope, I'm on the wrong side. Bloody. Mm hmm. Let's try that again, shall we? Be right back. I think I'm on the right side. Bloody heck! <laughs> Turns out I was going the wrong way to begin with. <laughs> I am really slow in the head here. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was th thinking it was outside, but it's actually over here. It was this thing. <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> like I said, my brain's operating on a completely different level. I love how there are moments where I am smart. Thank you game for that. I will take that into appreciation. Now we'll throw this away because we don't need it no more. And, um, yeah. That scared the freaking Christ out of me. Yeah. You like that? Freaking freak. <laughs> you freaky freak freak. <laughs> You're freaky freak a freak a freak a freak <laughs> from freakish freak a freak a freakishly freak 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 village <laughs> I'm sorry. God, I don't know what the heck happened there. <laughs> I'm sorry <laughs> I'm sorry about that one. My brain just went off the rails <laughs> Oh my god, I am operating on like how many hours of sleep did I get right now? I don't even know <laughs> <laughs> Freakishly freak, a freak nature, a freaking freak village, a freak. What the heck? <laughs> what? What the heck is all this? Oh, this must be the way underground. This is the way underground. Yo, let's go. <laughs> Why does every Resident Evil game's secret hideout have to be underground? Why can't they just be like above ground or something? Like, we already know you're an evil corporation. There is nothing for you to hide. <laughs> I think Resident Evil 6 How and... It? No one in the hospital ever noticed all this. Actually, that's a really good point. Thank you for announcing that, Jill. Like, do they got, like, a separate power source from the hospital? Like, is that why the hospital's electric bills never go up or something? Like, how does no one ever notice any of this, Jack? I mean, this stuff. Like, you have to be drunk to not notice all this. Thank you for announcing this, Jill. But then at the next day, I guess Umbrella is like a huge organization that they could cover up the fact that like, oh, this hospital, oh. Well, thank you, game. <laughs> yeah. Like that? I do. I'm gonna put this in here for now because I don't really want to take it with me. Not yet. There will probably be other goodies that will appear for me and I don't want to take that risk and I feel like now that I'm thinking about it that extra pouch that I accidentally gave to Carlos was supposed to be for Jill but for some reason they left it out for him also so I'm a little, little upset that I picked that up now that I'm thinking about it <laughs> oh never mind <laughs> just while I'm talking about it oh my lord Elevator notice. To all employees, we've identified an issue with the electrical box with 
where the concurrent use of heavy machinery overloads it and causes the fuse to blow. If you encounter this problem and get the elevator running, please stay calm, gather fuses from the sub-generators, situate it around the warehouse, and use those to restore power from the main generator as quickly as possible. And thank you, have a great day. <laughs> I'm just having fun right now, <laughs> even though my brain is being completely dumb. <laughs> even though I'm being stupid right now, people, <laughs> don't give up hope on me. <laughs> I know I'm stupid. <laughs> but then I consider myself as like smart stupid. Like you do, ha like, doesn't everyone have those moments where like, you're smart, but you're also dumb at the same time. Like, you basically be like, yo, I can do anything. Why is it telling me to go down here? Hold up. Is there something around here for me? The room's red. That's why I'm checking it out real quick, so give me a minute. Is there something in here? Um, oh, well, yeah, there is. I'll take that. Thank you. How many green herbs do I got now? They've just been giving these away now. I was barely even getting these like crazy. And whenever I do, I've been near death. Have I been... Progressing even better? Have I been going beyond? <laughs> Cue the My Hero Trap. I'm just kidding. No. <laughs> just no. As much as I like My Hero, just no. All right, can't go through that door. Um, seems like we can go through there, but hold up. I'm thinking of something right now. Uh, we'll take that with us. Since there's like only two bullets, I don't think that will be up. I'm taking no chances. That looks like a fight. That looks like a fight club type of room. Ever watched that movie? It's such a... Hey, buddy. Would you like a talk? Like, I'm not jumping down there because I'm not that dumb, but... Um... Like, I didn't even notice him until Jill, like, <laughs> breathed. I guess we got no choice. Let's go. Yo, what's up? He can obviously see me, right? Like, I'm not the only one thinking that he can't see me. I must admit, I respect your tenacity. But I'm afraid our games end here. <clears throat> think this is over why is power like that Shh. oh my god that is oh, no. oh what the freak is that that looks like something from like um what is that movie called oh my god Is it Pinhead? It looks like Pinhead, yeah. It looks like that, or it looks like the Xenomorph from like the new Alien movies. I hate it. It looks disgusting. I want that thing to stay dead. Alright, so we gotta get the fuses now since the power went out, so... Hey, we got one. Nice. Nice! Like, it looks like either like the new variation of a Xenomorph. Wait, 
Wait, where's the dog at? Give me a minute. My heart just burst for a second. <laughs> oh, God. I was so concentrating on that that I didn't even hear the dogs run in. I think he did. Oh, I did it. No, wait. <laughs> you think there are dead ends in this game? <laughs> no, 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 young lady. With your skinny body? There is no such thing as a dead end. I'm not gonna lie, I understand the feeling though. Being skinny is pretty good actually. It helps out. saw that correctly, right? Please die. Please. That thing is just ugly. I hate it. I, I'm sorry. I just I hate it so much. Back to the safe room. Nice. Put that in there. Move this up. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Move this here. And we'll move this here. And then we'll push this one up because this is what we're gonna do. My heart is still racing a little because of that moment with the dogs. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. That just got me really good, though. Because they distracted me just to look at that. And then it's like, here comes the dogs! <laughs> I'm gonna eat this lady's face! <laughs> oh, wait. Frick, I'm, I'm an idiot. I forgot there's a... Actually, wait. We can still go up there, right? My brain's just not operating functionally, so, yeah. See? What was the point of that, anyway? That's my main question. Like, I could just take the stairs like any other- I guess that's like a speedrunning one way to go, in all honesty. Y'all know what would suck? If I was doing all this and, like, Mr. X appeared out of nowhere and started chasing me. Then I would be worried.
that's coming through this? Which is play that. Disgusting creature from hell. <laughs> like, dude, like this thing does not deserve to be around, even though it is kind of cute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Is it bad that I actually do think that thing is cute though? <laughs> Like, is it really that bad that I do think that thing is kind of adorable? Because I think it is. I think my mind is in an unhealthy state right now. Heal. I don't even know what when this room is gonna turn blue or not because I don't know if I found everything but whatever I crisp that <laughs> oh there's nothing else I could do over here so Unless there's like anything else that I require, you know? Nope. <laughs> Alright. Up the ladder we go. I probably should have skipped it because we all knew I was gonna run back just to grab whatever was there, but. Is there looking? Okay, no, there's no terminal on this one. Alright. Go through here, go here, go in here, and now we go through this door. Knew it. I forgot to drop this stuff off. I I thought there was another one. I heard like footsteps, so I was getting ready to fire. Dude, we got a lot of stuff for days. This is insane. If anyone wants to be a part of my zombie apocalypse team, let me know. <laughs> to be honest, I actually do got a zombie apocalypse team set it up actually. Like well, I, I don't have one set it up, but I'm a part of one because, like, I feel like I do got a good chance of surviving a zombie apocalypse. Not this one, but I got a chance of surviving All right, here goes. one of the main zombie apocalypses if there was, like, one that came around this earth. For example, like, I feel like I could survive the dead, the, not dead island, <laughs> not dead island. Well, yeah, dead island, but not that island. Um, go in. Jesus Christ. It was, I believe, Dead Rising. That's what I was thinking of, not Dead Eye. Like, right. Ah! Uh, Alright, story this real quick. I'm really a perfectionist right now. I'm really being a perfectionist right now, and I hate it. We'll just put the knife here and... No, that won't make sense still! 
Is it bad that my OCD kicks in like that? <laughs> that I really want my ammo to stay close to the main gun itself? Alright, we'll put this in and call it. Jesus Christ. He's gone. Uh, wait, how are these guys infected though? We good? We good. <laughs> now let's go kill Nikolai. Yeah, I said it. We're murdering him. Wait, why is... This shuts down the power to the entire room. Shit. He got away. Of course he, he would. Doing because he's a pansy. How do you even get in here? Unfinished our activity logs. Oh, he was reading stuff. Huh. Who knew this man can read? I'm not gonna read all this, like, um, not because there's, like, a lot, but just because, like, let's be honest, it's obvious it's about the bio-weapon, I mean, the bio-weapon stuff. Joe. He lives! Tyrell. I got through. They're willing to negotiate. Ah. Oh. They'll call off the strike if... And this is one big ass if we can deliver the vaccine to them before they launch. How long do we have? Hours, maybe. Then let's not waste one more second. This way. The brother lives. Let's go, Tyrell. Keep bringing this kind of moxie and you will live another day, my dude. Jill was so ready to shoot at him too, in all honesty. Is it bad that I noticed that? Like, she had her gun ready. I don't mean she was like trying to shoot at him because of like race or anything. She was just like ready to shoot someone that was coming up there. Like she assumed that these zombies had the brain capacity to like operating these like ladders. All right, it's time to take out the big guns. <laughs> I think we're good from here. Oh wait, no, never mind. I got ammo still, and we got gunpowder, right? So why not? I just realized why I could have done with a high caliber gunpowder. I could have made more gunpowder for the mag. Isn't that bad that I just now realized that uh, or just now thought about it? Because it is. <laughs> Alright, we're good. We've been doing good so far. I enjoyed this. We're going to keep pursuing with the story, though. Is there something else in here that I don't know of? Because that room never did change color. Oh. Well, that room is clear, but not that one. <laughs> There's just so much in that room, so you can't blame me for missing anything, really. I think that's everything I can do, so we're out of here. Why am I talking we'll about this? The vaccine I don't ahead. Know. Wait, if Carlos is down here, where is he then? Wait, what's he been doing down here actually? And what's been what Nikolai's been doing down here? 
That's like a lot of questions right now. You sure, you don't need to stop. Stop and do what? I got your back. All right. Let's you got my done. back. I got yours. And when we get that vaccine, you're gonna get cured, my dude. Trust me. Yo, we look like a squad. I love it. <sighs> Miss you, Tyrell. I was having such hopes for him. He's been surviving really long, but then like, now that I think about it, I forgot what game I came from. <laughs> oh no. We won't forget about you, Tyrell. You was the homie who gave us time. Attention Nest 2 employees. The objective of this T-Virus research facility differ from the those of the U Umbrella's main Nest facilities. Here we focus on the real world use cases we, which arise as new bioweapons are created and introduced such as the need for T-Virus vaccines and new weaponry capable of suppressing bioweapons. Some aspects of our work here can be dangerous, so it is an imp a imperative that all employees are adhere to work Okay, out here, yeah. To workplace regulations without fail. In particular, unauthorized entry by approved visitors or the improve and the removal of work-related data or materials will be met with severe disciplinary measures. It is a great honor to be a part of the finest research organization in the world. Keep this in mind and stick to the rules as we forge a new revolutionary technology. Oh, and thank you. <laughs> I guess we don't need this yet because I thought there was gonna be a boss fight as soon as that happened. I mean, as soon as like we got in, so frick. But no, we just lost a brother and like uh, yeah. I feel like we got some time to continue onward, right, guys? Like, how long have I been going on right now? Yeah, we only been going on for about an hour. We can keep going. Screw it. Well, I've been going on for about an hour. I don't know how much time the video will be since, like, remember, I've been, like, time skipping. Ah, this looks so beautiful. Me. How come it's bad that I can actually conserve more ammo with Jill, but Carlos, I can't even do that. Madam, are you all right? Do you need water? Do you need mouth to mouth? <laughs> Imagine though. <laughs> Just like imagine though, like you see a corpse and then it's like, do you need air? Do you need mouth to mouth? I will resuscitate you. Oh. So we just found the main room to making the vaccines. 
but everyone's dead. Override key successfully generated. What have we here? Override key removed. To begin vaccine synthesis, place the materials in the chamber. <laughs> synthesis? I have to make it myself? <sighs> Alright, gotta figure this out. Leave me alive. <laughs> Wake me up. <laughs> Yo, I just thought of something. Just imagine though, like, just imagine though, like, actually, wait, I shouldn't probably be saying this because this will sound kind of bad on my end. Like, I was just thinking, like, what would the afterlife be like? And I just thought about it. That got me a little. I'm sorry. Shots put them down. I would say these guys are a lot easier to deal with than the plants. They're just more durable zombies. That's all they are. Man, this shotgun shreds them. Oh, they're still living. There's something over there. How are you alive? Just die. What the heck? just like took so many like just so much bullets Jesus Christ dude if I was playing like Dragon Ball Budokai right now I would love to use the like the line of, like if I had like any lines from the game I would just use the line of Vegeta saying drop dead like right now <laughs> oh my god we get more ammo thank you all right Let's go. Alright, we get more ammo. Thank you. I didn't ask for it, but sure. We'll take it. Oh, we get more stuff. Okay. Should I? I'll be right back. A scientist's dying message. It happened. Our worst case scenario. The T-Virus has somehow leaked under orders from Dr. Bard. I'm so manufacturing mass quantities of the vaccines. I've prepared a culture of this of the virus of the T-Virus antigen. And now I just ha need to combine it with uh, 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 have you, uh, adjuvant to enhance its effects and I should be able to produce enough vaccines to save all the surviving citizens. The adjuvant and the adjuvant samples are stored in the incubation lab. Test subjects are already wandering the halls, but I already find a way to get some plate samples with the... 
<laughs> this culture man maturing. God, I'm. So Whenever I start messing up with one word, it just affects the entire sentence. And I love it sometimes. <laughs> like it affects me entirely. If I don't make it back, please complete the synthesis process. Try to find a way to stop the outbreak. It's the least we can do, man. After setting these horrifying events in motion, man. <laughs> Just imagine the doctor actually talked like that, though. Just like saying, like, "Come on, man!" Like, we got. Like, he just sounded like a hippie for a second. Like, just, dang, man! We gotta get that drug, man. We gotta get them drugs out there, leaks, man. God, I'm so mad. Insufficient power. Please activate auxiliary power. Ah. This must be what powers it. My trigger finger just acted on its own. That was not even me. Like, I'm gonna be honest here, guys. Whenever I get shots like those off, that's never me actually aiming and shooting. That's just, like, my brain doing it on its own. Like, completely. And what I mean by that is I basically just go autopilot for a few seconds just to do stuff like that. Nope. Let's uh, head upstairs for a few seconds, buddy. Like, we haven't checked upstairs yet, so... Uh, <laughs> as soon as I see a room filled with Mr. X's and... Um... No. Dear Dr. Emerson, I, Emerson, I would like to formally request that the weaponary normal reverse for the bioweapon synthesis team be made available for any employees interacting with the ad admissions and dismiss dismissal of test subjects. These test subjects do not present the same levels of danger as our bioweapon products, but I believe that the weaponary authorization is visible as outlined below. Wait, real quick, can we talk about this music right now? The piano and all is actually kind of banging. I love it. Like, I love how intense it is, but then I love how soothing it is. Is it bad? I like this. Recently, some tests such as have been developed a new mutation granting them with high, with very high regrowth ability. Oh, are they talking about? So that's what they're called, pale heads. Okay, so that's what this note's all about. It's about the manufacturing of these things. Yeah, no. So these guys are pretty durable, is what it's stating. And there's one. No. I just can't. I'm not calling them pale heads. They're freaking xenomorphs. Those things are what, like, those things are not like, those things are not normal. Like, obviously they're not normal, but you know what I mean. Alright. Now we go in here. These are tyrants. I'm glad you remembered them. <laughs> and wow, they actually do not have anything. And oh my god, like, that is definitely a default tyrant that they would throw into the sewers. That one's also messed up. And these are hunters. Jesus. Is this where they're made? How do you Oh my god, that one uh That one makes me think of like the guy from 300, actually. 
I love it. <laughs> love that movie. Such a good movie. Oh my god. I would like to s Oh! <laughs> I'm not gonna lie! <laughs> Some of these are kinda funny to me because they made me think of like how people would create their characters from like... What's that game called? Uh... Is that survive Arc Survival or whatever? It makes me think of those types of creations. And then there's this! <laughs> It's just kind of messed up. I like how these guys are completely normal and then the tyrants are all freaking like disgusting mutants. All right. There is also a pale head in there. Jesus Christ. If Leon Kennedy was in this game, oh my god, I would love to hear him say Jesus Christ again because it would be perfect for this. Just in case. I know this is bad that I'm doing that, but you gotta give me some slack here. I'm kind of annoyed that I'm over-prepared right now. Senior, senior fellow Dr. Franklin. I mean, Frank... Franklin? Frankel? I cannot think of how to pronounce that besides... We're just gonna call him Frank. Please allow me to send my heartfelt congratulations to you and your colleagues at the Umbrella Europe for completing Nemesis. <laughs> a true remarkable achievement in the field of bioweapon research, <laughs> introducing a, a <laughs> parasitic organism into a tyrant's brain to gain internal control of it. Can how can I not be at such marvel, such a wild idea? So that's why they look so disturbingly mutated. Good to know. Like. These guys had no control over the weapons they've been making, the lickers, the hunters. They've been killing everyone at the spot, even their own Umbrella employees. They're pretty stupid, actually. And then they're like, it's it's amazing that you are able to control this one tyrant, but everything else, screw it. <laughs> Just disassembled it. However, from a medical perspective, I must have <laughs> ethically state my disapproval of this shift away from established umbrella policy by turning to the use of parasites you are saying a dangerous pres I mean, predicament I mean, virus can be kept in check i believe in effective vi vaccine can be developed for any virus on earth with abundant funding and with a bounty of samples of course can you say the sample the same parasites, however, doctor have tried in vain to develop a vaccine for ma malaria. I'm malaria. Malaria. God, my words. English, such a lovely language, right, guys? <laughs> parasites like plasmo and plasmodium are far more genetically complex than the T, t virus, and to think they will submit to control its other foully. Perhaps in your country, consumers are willing to buy automobiles with no brakes, but here in America, they know better. Then again, I recall you have a degree in economics, so no doubt you've already developed I and mean, devised a brilliant marketing strategy to win over the, I mean, the naysayers. I mean, the naysayers. Yeah. I believe that's how you say it, yeah. And I look forward to your talk to the forum. In Berlin next month, in the meantime, I shall be exploring medical solutions to this hubris problem you've forced on us. Sincerely, Nathaniel Bur Oh my god, it's screw this guy. Nemesis. Yeah, that's what it's called. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I'm so mad that I got more of these. But at the same time, I'm grateful that I got more of these. Wait, hold up. Incubation lab, let's head back. Should have probably done that before I left. So what you're telling me is... These guys were like, yo, let's develop a bioweapon again. And next thing you know, it's like, yo, I got an idea. Let's put a parasite in one of our bioweapons. And then... And then... We'll cause trouble. <laughs> But, sir, won't that be any, like, repercussions? No. Don't worry about it. Trust me. <laughs> it will be busted. <laughs> It'll be amazing. Oh, my God. I love how Umbrella operates here, in all honesty, though. I'm not gonna lie. It's funny how English is my first language, but then at the next second, I'm so bad at moments when it comes to reading. Oh, hi. How are these guys breaking out? Wait, how are they breaking out? But the Nemes... Would you say Nemesai or Nemesi? No, Tyrants. Are not breaking out. Whatever. Like I said, they got control over, like, certain things. But now, but, like, they cannot control any of the things that is killing their own staff. That's kind of poor. P I mean, poor planning right there. Well, we already went in there, so and we're already good from upstairs, aren't we? Yeah, we're good from upstairs, so... This music, though, I love it. It's just so intense. Let me try something. <laughs> Keeping that. Probably should have made more shotgun ammo, but we don't need it where we're going. I think we're good from here. Because by the looks of everything, it's not bad. Alright, let's go. I didn't think I left a survivor. Wait, what?! Should I stop playing stupid for five seconds, guys? It's bad that I always do that to myself. I didn't think I left one right there. Is it bad that I said that I left one survivor? <laughs> like I was supposed to extinct the entire zombie infection. What? Oh, I get it now.
am I supposed to get exactly on 50? We'll get it eventually if I keep doing random ones, right? There we go. First try. <laughs> Where was I on my census again? Awesome, we got the vaccine. But yeah, like I was saying, like, um, yeah, I love the color purple. Oh my freaking god! <laughs> They have a real thing for tentacles in this game, don't they? Red Evil 2 is rarely that rare with tentacles. Vines, yes! But then such thing as vine tentacles, I guess, but whatever. But yeah, like, Resident Evil... If I had to say for this game, I... No, not Resident Evil, I was talking about English. Like... <laughs> My brain is all over the place right now. I'm sorry. But yeah, like, when it comes to English, it's like, it's, it's alright to learn, but it's like, there are just some words that I, when I mispronounce, I just feel so stupid for mispronouncing it. And the thing is, I, oh my god! How did you even know where I was gonna go? Like, can you, like, see me through wall? Like, he has to be walking. Such a beautiful fire! We're ending this game here and now! I'm done playing with you, Nemesis! Oh god, no. I wanna be done playing you, but not like this. <laughs> you ain't killing me today! Oh god, you gadget, stop! No. no. Freedom! See you later, loser! <laughs> Hope the flames is um suing for you. I know they would be for me. <laughs> foolish fool. <laughs> Coming from foolish islands of foolish male foolishness of foolish people, foolish names. <laughs> I'm sorry. Alright, we got the vaccine, we are clear, and um I think we're good. I feel like I want to end things off here, though, in all honesty. They're giving me a lot of stuff. There has to be a reason for it. I feel like I want to end things off here and continue on with the story for the next video. It would make more sense for me. I'm not using the knife no more, so we're getting rid of it now. <laughs> After all this time, the knife finally gets the rest. Should we pistol run this only again? <laughs> take this bad boy out, take some of the ammo with us, uh, put the shotgun ammo away, and now we should be good. Alright, we're gonna call this one off here for now, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this. It's so much fun playing this and continuing on with the story of this. God. Uh, I can't wait. Uh, I can't wait to just beat it but at the same time i want to continue on with this but we'll save it for another day like i said hope you guys enjoy take care my friends tech out johnny god i suck at english <laughs>